morning guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i wanted to make a video to share with you my top newborn essentials um, as you guys all know i've had two girls so this is from experience after ha having two kids what we've actually used with both kids definitely after having two babies i believe that every baby is different and some things that were vital with Emily were not vital with Elena. She just did not need them, she did not use them. There's definitely like a difference between like your baby needs, their wants, etc. And every baby is literally born with their own personality. <laughs> thing that is essential in my opinion with newborns and we've used it in both the kids is a swaddle now we've used two different types and the ones that we use are just like the muslin swaddle which is just like a piece a huge piece of fabric and you just wrap them around with it we use that only with Emily and it worked really really well and that one is better if you want to like save a bit of money because it's a ver very versatile so you can use it as a swaddle you can use it as a cover-up when you're like breastfeeding you can use it as a cover-up for the baby when they're sleeping so it's very versatile the other one that we did use with Elena as well we'd use the fabric one but then we transitioned to uh, ergo pouch cocoon that one's really easy because it clips on the side so you just close it up and then you zip it up so it's very user friendly the other one there is a bit of technique to it to actually swaddling them and it took me a little bit of time to get the hang of it and you need to do it like really really tightly for it to work with the baby so the whole reason behind a swaddle is that babies are born with a startle reflex and it wakes them up so when you put their arms into the swaddle that helps them not get that startle well they still get the starter reflex but they don't flinch their arms so they don't wake themselves up so they can have longer stretches of sleep. The second thing that I think is absolutely essential and that's not only newborn, we use it until now with Emily and that is a sound machine or a shusha, white noise machine, whatever you want to call it. Um, so as a newborn it actually helps calm down the baby so it stimulates I don't remember what part of the nervous system like calms them down and as they get older and it doesn't do that anymore like for example with Emily she's a toddler it just blocks that noise so it's absolutely amazing so if your baby is crying and you have it in your toddler's room um, then the toddler doesn't hear the baby crying and then they continue to sleep the same thing does go for the baby so if they have it on if you go into the room while they're sleeping you move around they're less likely to wake up from your movement. The thing that I think is very essential when they are a newborn, um, it doesn't really work past for us like the two, three months mark. But as a newborn, I think it's very essential and there is a dummy. So babies actually need a certain number or a certain amount of sucking time. And I didn't know that up until I had Elena, so second baby, but I did use it with Emily as well. So basically a dummy like creates this sucking time because if they don't do it on the dummy then they will do it on you if you are breastfeeding or maybe the bottle I'm not sure uh, but they will use you as a human dummy and I struggled with that with Emily because she was on me like the whole time like 24 7 and I was literally buried under her and it was really like hard because I couldn't even like feed myself to keep up with my supply so a dummy was like a life changer um, that meant that someone could actually take her away and help her to fall asleep while I got a bit of rest as well. It did kind of stop working after the two and a half, three month mark with both the kids. Next thing that I think is essential, which I did not buy with Emily, but I bought with Elena and I was convinced we don't, we didn't need it uh, the first time round, but I got it the second time round and honestly it's life changing and it will save your back and that is actually a changing table. Now we did have a changing mat with Emily because I thought on the floor would be fine, which it is, but during the night if they have like a poop explosion or they've leaked or you just need to change their nappy, the changing table is really really good instead of changing them like on the bed or anything like that, it will save your back like a ton. So I highly highly recommend it and it also holds everything so it's right there. Now this thing I feel like is so underrated and a lot of people don't use it but 
we got her from the first time round and we've continued to use it with both kids and I couldn't imagine life without it. That is a baby capsule. Um, so that is like kind of like something that you put in the car so it acts like a car seat so you click it in and then you move it if there's a baby still in it you move it and you put it in the stroller and they just continue sleeping I couldn't imagine having like a newborn who is like sleeping and having to move them out of the car seat into the stroller from the stroller into the car seat so especially as like babies they sleep a lot so you're not just Disturbing this sleep. Next essential is a pretty basic one, but some people overlook it and you don't realize it as a first time mom. And that is actually getting onesies that have zips, not little button capsule thingies. Again, in the middle of the night, if you need to change them, like putting all these like little clicky things is just a pain in the butt, whereas a zip like it's very easy you know 100% that they're warm like there are no gaps and also with the clippy thing is sometimes they actually like have gappy bits in it and I worry like they would get cold so the zip is like a smooth like one motion all done um, you know they're warm and it's just uber easy a newborn um, what's essential is actually getting a baby bath seat so whether you buy an actual bath or not i would definitely recommend a bath seat because you can put it in either like the little bathtub if you do buy one or you can put it in your big bathtub like in your house so either or but definitely having a little like seat for them to go on instead of like having them on your arm or something like that would make it so much easier and safer and will make you more confident especially if you're a first-time mom because I found it a little bit scary um, but I think the kids as newborns because they're just really little and like frail um, and you don't want them to like fall off or like hit her head like their heads or anything so a bath seat is so essential because it does provide that support um, instead of you having them on your arms which is a little bit scary or playtime with newborns if you only buy one thing for a newborn and that is if you get a like baby play mat or play gym um, they have different names and they actually will use it for quite a long time even if they start rolling so you just put them under it stimulates them you know they're on safe ground they're not gonna roll over like gonna roll off and like fall or anything like that and they can play even when they start rolling there's something dangling and they can grab it um, it provides so much entertainment for a very long time Time, and it's very easy to move around the house with you. The second to last thing which is a baby monitor. Now this is something that is a little bit controversial to some people because some people think like you don't want to watch your kids like it like sleep or um, you know giving them a little bit of privacy which I totally understand and I totally agree with but at the same time if you have um, a house that you can't really hear everything like from the kitchen or even if it's like a house that you can hear everything from the kitchen if you are doing you know other things around the house like cooking cleaning laundry whatever it is like typical house chores you don't hear it a lot of the times because there's a lot of noise you know the water is on or there's like food cooking on the pan even if you can normally hear it when you're doing those things you can't hear the baby so i highly recommend getting a baby monitor now whether it's just sound only and or sound and like video we've gotten the sound and video i don't know what it's like to just get the audio but it's not nice to know when they're woken up like what they're doing if i'm just doing all the house chores i'm always like paranoid that they might be waking up crying and i just don't realize it and the last thing that i think you need and i think this is whether you're like breastfeeding or bottle feeding because if, even if you're breastfeeding and you're pumping you'll need a sterilizer and i cannot tell you how easy it is to use those like microwave steam sterilizer they are very affordable you can get like cheaper ones or you can get branded ones so it's completely up to you what you go with but all those fancy ones that you are like the electrical I don't think they're worth the money to be honest they're so user-friendly and even the Milton tablets um, 
you can't use it like straight away I don't like the idea of having like bleach on their like products you know that they're gonna like ingest so this one is like the best one you can wash it so easily you put water on it like in it sorry and then you put the bottles or the pump or whatever it is that you need to sterilize pop it in the microwave and you leave it take it out and it's all sterilized and clean that's it guys for this video i hope it has been useful if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up because it supports my channel and also subscribe because i upload new videos every week and hit that uh, notification button the bell button because uh, it will let you know when i have uploaded a new video and i'll see you next time bye